Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. So I found some new stuff in stores the past two weeks and I got a package from a viewer that is very cool. Let's start with Matchbox. I found two 2021 Matchbox 5 packs in a store called Kurtvat. They had a bunch of 2020 5 packs, not the ones I am missing, I'm still missing three of them but uh, those they had I already had so five euro and 99 cents that's an okay price uh, I found them cheaper in the past in Germany for five euro or 4.99 but uh, this is uh, about as low as I can find them locally so this is the off-road rally five pack very cool golf country in there and uh, yeah I like uh, the three top ones I like uh, I'm not a fan of this uh, Dodge D200 uh, it's just uh, yeah too big and then this is a fantasy thing they keep using in some of these five packs don't know why but anyways uh, it's a cool one it's nice like it it's got the Gulf Country on almost every side well two sides at least and then the coffee cruisers so 5.99 almost 6 euro that's 1 euro and 20 cents per car again a bunch of cool vehicles in there always cool to have another beetle and it's not a red or an orange one so I'm uh, happy with that got the uh, logos of the car makes on the side and this time it gets the um, pickup truck it gets highlighted on the box so it won't be opening these, uh, I will open these all up in a separate video when I have all of the five packs. Then, to my surprise, there was also a bunch of Matchbox singles. So Kretvat is a discount store, um, usually they don't have a lot of die cast, they only have it every now and then, kind of when they can uh, um, buy a, a batch of, uh, of cheap die cast. I guess um, I found this case last year in a uh, store in Belgium called Euroshop which has nothing to do with the German Euroshop stores by the way and uh, they were 1 euro and 75 cents a piece so I only bought the uh, licensed vehicles that had a metal body mostly um, and then I left behind a bunch of them so that's the ones that uh, I got here now this one I did get in that batch so this store sells them for it's kind of hard to see on that sticker very faint uh, printing 1 euro and 19 cents which is very cheap for Europe um, only in Germany you can find them cheaper at uh, 1 euro uh, funny enough uh, about four years ago in 2017 another discount store called Action had a Matchbox for exactly the same price so that kind of shows you that Matchbox really hasn't got much more expensive it's just that the stores here just want too much money for them um, so I got the Mr. Bean Mini Cooper last time too uh, last year but uh, unfortunately it had a paint chip um, did not see that in the packaging and the paint was still on there but then afterwards uh, I saw it I kind of started um, uh, feeling and then it just uh, chipped off the paint so that's a bummer um, I do have the other release the 2017 release that was not licensed by Mr. Bean so without a license plate it's uh, exactly the same little bit of a shade difference but you know not that much very hard to see and probably doesn't show up on camera but yeah I kind of wanted to have a um, another example and uh, I got another example from uh, my friend Joe uh, at XLT Offroad Bear on YouTube but it's a long card and uh, I really don't want to open up that long card this is a nice example of the difference between long card and short card I don't like short cards uh, I know uh, a lot of people who get the long cards think the short cards are cool because you know there's something exotic but as you can see there's a lot of uh, info or card art missing on the short card 
and most importantly uh, the car is not on the, the short card so that's kind of silly but also this uh, this blue stuff here is not visible the blue part of the map it says this way up and then this piece of paper here north south east mess is not uh, on the short card either so you can see there's quite some difference because there's just not a lot of room on the short card to put all that stuff and I think that's kind of a bummer and in the back you can also see quite a big difference because this one has got the picture of the real car with Mr. Bean on top of it in a uh, lounge chair so yeah that's all the stuff you have to miss when uh, you get short cards so yeah I'm going to open up the short card to have a mint example of the Mr. Bean Mini and I keep the long card carded so I'll show you to you again so this one has uh, no paint chips it seems so that's cool nice one and this can go into the toy bin then the 33 Ford Coupe I did not pick up this casting uh, when it was uh, 1 euro and 75 cents because you know it's not uh, something I'm a big fan of I of you know I buy it because it's kind of cool with the, the moon eyes livery but uh, these old style hot rods are just not really uh, my uh, focus point on collecting I thought it had a paint chip too but there's, there's something sticking out here in the, in the metal casting Let's see those are the hinges the door hinges kind of stick out it's kind of a nice detail never seen that before that's cool then the 1974 Volkswagen type 181 I actually already got one uh, last time last year too but you know no not a bad thing to have another one and this one the interior is not clipped in there so kind of wanted to open up and put it back in there because you can just uh, unlock these they just clip in there and this is one of the few matchbox castings that still has a proper steering wheel so that's also why I uh, am a big fan of this one very cool so it's got the side deco kind of look like the the weed plants which of course they are not it's kind of yeah cool color combination I like it then we got the ice cream king so fantasy casting it's got a metal base and a, uh, this wheel is kind of, or this axle is kind of loose. You can see that? How that moves? Is that normal? That's kind of moves all over the place. That's interesting. So, metal base, plastic body. Used to have the front clip here in metal, but of course, uh, it's kind of silly and difficult to uh, produce, so they made it all plastic. Fine with that, that's okay. So I like to collect food trucks. So I still buy these matchbox plastic body ones, even though I don't buy the Hot Wheels plastic body food truck anymore. I know I'm biased to matchbox. That's why I still buy this one. Pink interior, kind of a reddish window. Good one. And we got this Matchbox Garbage Scout. Let's 
So this was a new casting, 2020. It has a, it's everything you see in blue is metal. Does not have an interior because you get an extra piece. So you got the indicators painted here. Matchbox services on the side. 1217 garbage scout, which is the um, casting number. Nothing actually moves here on the back. Just kind of put the container on there. It's got a kind of specific shape for the um, the clip there. And then it's got, it doesn't really clip on there, but well, maybe it does. Yeah. See, if you slide it in like that, it clips on. If you just put it in there like this. Uh, it also stays on. <laughs> I just wasn't doing it correctly. Okay, that's cool that it kind of holds it like that, but it's, it's going to get lost very quickly in the hands of kids, I'm assuming, but it's kind of nice. I like it. Not sure if I will buy every single one of them, but uh, at least this first release is cool to have. Then for the National Parks collection, the Sea Spy. So we got a metal base and then this uh, ring here is plastic color matching the the base. This typical green, National Parks green. So got some uh, details molded into the plastic. Some seats here in the back. Three engines. I think it's my first example of this C spy casting. But yeah, that's uh, when you collect ink and uh, national parks and Ranek, you uh, sometimes end up with fancy castings that you normally would not be getting, but that's okay. That way I have an example of it. And then the MBX cycle trailer, which came in two versions. I found both of them in the same store. That was cool. As they had some stores had quite a lot of these and other stores not that many and the mini one the mini Cooper was kind of hard to find so dual axle so this one has the kind of the sports bike on it molded in plastic so the red part is metal got the cycle trailer license plate and some lights the diamond plate detail so yeah, pretty cool and then the other version is the has the chopper in it looking uh, yeah pretty wild it's got some paint here on top too by the way I did not mention that So I kind of was looking for a vehicle to uh, put in front of this, but the problem with uh, a lot of modern matchbox is that the trailer hitch is, is up way too high. If I put it up here, you kind of see the front wheels get, get lifted a little bit, although it's, yeah, it's just not touching, uh, so the front wheels are not rolling. Uh, it's kind of annoying. So uh, I got this one. Isuzu Rodeo or also called Vauxhall Frontera. It's an older casting and kind of in a fitting livery. Roadside rescue service 24 hours when your uh, motorcycle has broken down. They come and pick you up with that trailer. And uh, this one seems to have a much lower trailer hitch. And also, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get it in between here, because the spare wheel kind of acts as a device to hold down the trailer when it's on the uh, on the hitch. But it seems like I'm not going to be able to get it. Oh yeah, it is. See? And this way, with the spare wheel, it uh, can't come off. So that's kind of a clever engineering. Um, 
back then it seems like uh, they've gotten dumber over the years and not doing something like that anymore which kind of kills the play value and with this one all four wheels are touching so this works so much better and it looks good too uh, so yeah I thought that was a really nice combo uh, let me know what you think about this uh, combo I made I think it's pretty cool so let's move on to Hot Wheels so this store near me called Mako that sells Hot Wheels for 1 euro and 95 cents I got a batch well a few of them the red Volvo 850 and the Subaru from them and the previous chase report and I had seen this one the Chrysler Pacifica and I liked it but you know not enough to pay that kind of money for it but then I learned afterwards from like as dude that it's a uh, treasure hunt which I hadn't seen of course because I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff usually and um, yeah so I decided to pick it up and uh, it was still there again short card not great because the car on the card art is hidden behind the uh, the actual diecast car uh, one good thing about short cards hot wheels is that it mentions the year it's been released in 2021 because if you look at the copyright date on hot wheels cards uh, you're not going to find the actual release date of the vehicle because they usually are not the same it just says 2018 while it's a 2021 release so let's take a look of course got uh, the logo there on the card as you can see here treasure hunt logo very cool Michelin livery Hot Wheels tire shop Hot Wheels racing as it too on the hood of course it has spare tires in the back so pretty fitting livery and it's got the uh, go-kart in the back yeah that's pretty cool it's in a flat white so that makes it special too so yeah that's a nice treasure hunt and then we get to the package so I got an email uh, my email is in the about section on my channel uh, from uh, Mark Schilbach asking me uh, do you have this uh, mainline Hot Wheels because I haven't seen it on your videos he said so he was uh, he had been paying very well attention watching my videos because uh, I indeed did not have that so I, that, I said well Thank you so much, Mark. Uh, you can send it to me. Uh, that is very much appreciated. So he did. And uh, it came actually in a box. Um, and then in the, inside the box was this very well padded envelope. So uh, very nice uh, packaging on that, Mark. So let's open it up. Uh, I know what's uh, in here because uh, he sent me a picture. But, uh, for you guys it's a surprise okay so we got some uh, filling some newspaper German newspaper yeah so, to keep everything safe in here so oh this seems to be kind of a oh yeah sure he told me that uh, the new Siku catalog for 2021 is bigger in size. So the old ones, I have a few here underneath my desk, I think. Oh no, I don't put it away somewhere. The old ones were like uh, this size, much smaller, and the newer ones are a lot bigger, which is kind of a bummer because the small size ones are very easy to put in the back of your pants, the pocket. Uh, to carry in the stores and uh, to check if you have something or not and this is kind of more difficult to uh, 
to keep in your pocket. Um, but yeah, it's a nice catalog nonetheless. Uh, he got it at uh, Muller drugstore in Germany. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, much easier to uh, to see the pictures, of course, being bigger. So that is, of course, a good thing. Uh, so here we have some uh, some new vehicles: the Chevrolet Camaro. So let's see if we can uh, see some other new ones. I can show you while we're at it. Uh, like as do did a review of this one recently so check that out if you want to see that that's a very cool one I want to get that too mm, the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG black series is also new for 2021 so, there must be more new stuff but it's kind of They're not all in one spot anymore, it seems. Yeah, like this uh, Chevrolet Corvette Z01 or Z01 Police. That's uh, a new one too. And the uh, German Police BMW i8, but that's uh, a little bit bigger scale. It's 1 to 50 instead of 1 to 55. Oh yeah, here's uh, all the new stuff in the front. Should have just looked in the front, <laughs> for starters. Uh, a Beetle to celebrate the anniversary of the Sieper, Sieper company, that's uh, the owner of Siku. Unimog in 155 scale, very cool. Yeah, definitely will be getting that one. And then some uh, cars you can kind of customize with stickers and stuff so that's cool maybe not as elaborate as um, Majorette is doing with their new custom cars so yeah this is all the new stuff 2021 And some other scales. BMW Z4, 1 to 50 scale, so that's bigger. Okay, that's it. Very cool, thank you, Mark. And then, oh yeah, there seems to be a little note in here. So I hope my little package reaches you well. I thought in one of your videos you mentioned that you are also missing the second car in here. Okay, so there's a second car in here, cool. Could not find the correct video, so I hope I paid attention here correctly too. I also found the new 21 Seagull catalog in the practical dimensions a few days ago. In the non so practical dimensions, yeah few days ago and thought you might find this interesting too. Yes, most definitely Mark. Enjoy the cars and the catalog. Best wishes Mark. Yeah, very cool. Thank you. Okay, so that's a surprise. There's actually two cars in here. Let's see what we got. All right. So this one the paper. This one I knew about, so I have not seen the yellow version of the Volvo 850 estate here locally. So that is very cool that I have it now. Um, I'm sure a lot of my other friends will send me an example too, and I will um, gladly accept those too, because uh, if I were able to find these, and then if I were able to find these for an affordable, affordable price here locally, I would hoard the bleep out of these things but uh, yeah unfortunately neither of that those is the case so uh, 
yeah, I'm, um, I'm going to have to rely on others to, uh, to get me these. Um, I'm definitely going to open up this one because I'm sure I will get uh, some other ones. Yeah, very nice and yellow. Again, color matching the plastic base and the side part here with the metal body. And then the black interior makes for the black line here in the middle, which is uh, very correct to the actual vehicle. Got the headlights done. And we got the taillights with uh, some logos on there. Very cool. Very nice. I love it. Such a great model. The base clips into the body, so we have no post in the back. Awesome. So nice. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Mark. And then the other one. Ah, indeed, you are so well at uh, paying attention at my videos, Mark. I did not have the gray version of the 2019 Kia Stinger GT. I have the blue one, the original one, and then the red one I found um, some time ago locally. But I missed out on the gray one. This is a very sweet casting and I definitely collect that. So again, thank you so much, Mark. That's very cool of you. So primer gray color. Details in the front. These two black parts are apparently part of the interior. Kind of a air vents or something like that. Then we got the details in the back, very nicely done. It's a very cool vehicle. And um, the rims kind of color match the actual color of the vehicle. Yeah, very nice. Love it. Very awesome. Thank you so much, Mark, for these uh, very nice cars. I appreciate it, appreciate it a lot. That is very cool of you. And then the last box here is um, a box I found not in, at the uh, stupid toy store, but at my um, local supermarket, which is a sister company of the stupid toy store. And they sell some uh, die cast, just a little bit, not that much, but this was priced down from 15 euro to 12 euro. So there's 12 cars in here, so one euro per car. Thought that was a good value. So uh, I bought it. These are RMZ City Cars, manufactured for the stupid toy store by Unifortune Toys in Industrial Limited, Hong Kong. I think this is the date. November 13, 2020, when it was packaged. packaged. So let's uh, take a look. This uh, kind of has a opening, easy opening. And the uh, names of the vehicles are actually on the this cardboard insert here. So we got the Lamborghini Aventador SV Coupe, or Coupe. Two thousand fifteen. It says on the base. Arms at City, as you can see. So these are basic ones. They don't have an interior. Got the headlights and the Lamborghini logo, and then tail lights with some black paint in the back and a plastic spoiler. And uh, these are nicely wedged in there. We got the BMW M5. There's a little bit of dirt on the side, but that uh, wipes off. Just like that. So they have a newer BMW 5 casting. It's called 550i. This is a little bit older model. So details front and back. Nicely done. 
And we got the Dodge Challenger SR2 Demon. Kind of a um, matte orange. Oh, need to, we'll need to clean this up too. A little bit sloppy in the front. The headlights are nicely done in the silver paint. Uh, I At first I thought they were lens, but of course that's not going to happen. Black paint on the grills. And then nice uh, back part there. And even says SRT on the spoiler. It's a nice touch. Let's get the AMG GTS. Again, nicely detailed in the front. I like the grill detail. The Mercedes Star is very crisp, spot on. No details in the back, none. Not even a logo or anything. It does need a tail light because you know it's red, but it's definitely nice to get some detail. Aston Martin Vantage. This is the uh, first example I have of this casting. Kind of a uh, fluorescent green, I would say. Nice job on the tail lights because they seem kind of difficult to tempo with their special shape, but they did a good job on it. Then we get the Camaro in a um, flat yellow. And nicely detailed grill there. Got the stripes on top, on the hood and the trunk. And we get the taillights done also. Then we got the 2015 Mustang. And uh, yeah, kind of a yellowish or maybe mustard color again nicely detailed in the front and the taillights in the back we got the Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4 and they just call it coupe on the cardboard Lights and logo, and then uh, some red paint for the tail lights. A little bit less than uh, the actual shape of the tail lights, it seems. A little bit too short, and would have been nice some black paint on the grill there too. Also, the first example I have of this Ford F one fifty. So, a lot of black paint on the grill there, the Ford logo and the headlights, and then the bumper is part of the base. Same in the back, and we get the taillights that nicely wrap around. So, and we got the tonneau cover. Then we got the Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport. Got the Go Faster stripe on top, Corvette logo and the headlights, and some black paint on the grill. And then we get the tail lights in the back. So deco wise, this is uh, yeah nicely decked out. We got another Corvette, the C6R 2010. Red logo and headlights, and the tail lights done with the plastic spoiler. And then what they call the Land Rover Range Rover Sport. Accessory on the base, too. Tiny Land Rover logo there in green on the grill, Range Rover on the bonnet, and then the headlights painted white. And the taillights are also done. So, not bad. So, 
that's it for this video i thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already and i hope to see you again next time bye bye